Hey guys, welcome to Chicago, Illinois, where Andre and I have just landed. Yes, we did. We are here for the uh, Chicago Auto Show, but this is a very special video because we are going to be driving the most expensive Jeep ever. Grand Wagoneer, that's yeah. right. Yes, Jeep was kind enough to loan us a Grand Wagoneer. And dude, I think, wait, wait, I think I see it. There it is. It's right there, yeah. So, yes, so we it is. How much it costs, or should we wait till the end? No, no, it's, we'll tell them till the end. But the, re the reason why I'm super excited about this is because yeah. it has a brand new Hurricane engine, the twin turbo straight six. It's a three liter. And this engine is also going to be in the upcoming Ram 1500 trucks. So I cannot wait. I've never driven this engine. I cannot wait to do so. All right, so uh, how about in this video, we take it for a ride uh, to the convention center from- <laughs> Through traffic? Yeah, through traffic and see what it drives like. But before we do that, uh, why don't we give them a quick walk around? Yes. Now, I actually went on the program when uh, this was introduced. Uh, and the irony, Andre, is you're gonna have a hard time finding a Jeep logo anywhere on this. Let's well, call it a truck, right? Because uh, it's built on the Ram chassis. It's a Ram 1500 chassis, yep. but it has a different suspension in the back because yep. it's independent. It's got, of course, independent front. Um, and this is the long version, dude. And this is the that. most expensive. See right there. So the L, the L means long. It's, dude, this is bigger than the Suburban. Hey, everybody, I, everybody will know you're behind the Grand Wagoneer. <laughs> because it's a Grand Wagoneer. Because it says Grand Wagoneer and like, oh my goodness, Robert. Motors. You know what this is? What? You, you, you know this probably more better than most. This is traditional American luxury, isn't it? It is. It's, it's big, it's powerful, it's luxurious, it's expensive, it's loud, it's... Here, can you take this for a second? Yes. Let me get my uh, sunglasses out of here. Not it's, that we need them today in Chicago. Uh, it's humongous, it's comfortable, it's quiet. Look, look, this no longer competes with, uh, you know, a regular grand Cherokee, right? This competes with like a Range Rover, I mean, now we're into Escalade territory. Oh, yeah. We're, Bec yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is the most expensive Jeep I think you and I ever reviewed. Well, for sure. But it doesn't say Jeep. No, it does not. All right, well, while you're excited about this, let me pop the hood. Okay. And we'll take a look at that uh, twin turbo under there. Here's which my key. is, uh, Wait. you know, the way that the world is going, Andre. Wait, Roman, I found the Jeep. You did? It's on the key. Oh, it's, it's not on the key. It's on it's the key. On the key. <laughs> Tag. Tag. Not even on the key. All right. So what are we looking at here? Oh, boy. Look at this. This is born in America. Yeah, it's built in Michigan. Look, Warren, Michigan. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, the engine comes from Mexico, though, where a lot of their engines come from. This is a twin turbo high output. So they have two versions of this engine. Uh, they're both twin turbo. Uh, the, the base engine in the Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer, is 420 horsepower. This is high output, which is 510 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. That's awesome. So you're telling me this is going to replace the Hemi in the upcoming new Ram 1500? That's what they told us. Yes, mm. they said it's replacing it. And, you know, it's kind of crowded under here. I mean, this, this hood area is not very big, but this engine is taking up a lot of space. Well, I mean, uh, you still do have traditional Jeep things like recovery points obviously you have all-wheel drive do we have air suspension we better have air suspension. oh yeah we have everything all right let's that, see it says hold on a second okay. it says i could maybe lower it can you lower it for like oh yeah look at that <laughs> it's lowering itself for us to <laughs> enter for, for us old guys right <laughs> oh it's too tall <laughs> here let me get the monroni i'm gonna read you off some of the i'm not gonna tell you the price yet but i'm gonna read you off some of the options on this so, okay oh first of all it's series three which means series three, which means it's one of the top levels. Oh my goodness, Roman. So we've got 22 inch aluminum wheels, $1,500. Okay. Embossed metal interior accents, $1,600. Yeah. Do you yes, see that? I see it. Um, oh, heavy duty trailer package, Andre, 1370. It will tow up to about 9,700 pounds. That's a lot. Yes. Uh, rear seat entertainment group. Want to show them the rear seat? That's the rear seat. So we've got at captain least, chairs. At least five screens, right? We have a lot of screens. It's got dual sunroofs. So sunroof for the rear passengers, a giant panoramic sunroof for the front so passengers. Can I tell them the base price? Yes, please. One hundred and thirteen thousand. Wait, what? One hundred and thirteen. And of course, you get remotes for that. 
Okay, good. That's the base. That's not the price of this car, but I do love the interior. I mean, it's really beautiful, right? I mean, look at the quality I, of the leather, the stitching, the little privacy shade. It's got, you know, everything you'd expect. And for. it's got Macintosh stereo. Isn't this American luxury, Roman? Big, soft, luxurious. So we're really competing with like the Navigator, the Escalade. Yes, um, we are in that price range we're, now. We're definitely in that price range. Look at the size of that <laughs> step. <laughs> Humongous. I mean, yeah. You, look at the size of the rear end. Do you think this will ever go more than like, you know, a slightly dirt road? <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> it's got a roof rack. All right, let's let's fire this engine up. All right, let's let's go. Should we get in? Yeah, let's go for a ride. Let's see what it drives like. I'm super excited. I hope it has heated seats because it's a little chilly in here, dude. Oh, oh. look at this! I like these uh, seat adjusters. They're like the old Mercedes style. They're oh. not haptic. Oh, uh, I think this is heated. I think this is heated. That's massage too. That's, that's massage, I think. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. wow. Hold on. And Let then me. you have different drive modes. You have uh, rock, sand, snow, uh, auto, and sport. Here's your height adjustment. Uh, yes. Look at look at the seat. I mean, this, this is definitely oh. one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Look Seven at my seater. headrest. I'm adjusting <laughs> my. <laughs> We're like in the oh. candy store. We open up this. We open up the shade. Let some light in here. Yes. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Let me get my uh, seat belt, so, and you can also get your seat belt. Oh, it's gonna yell at us. <coughs> look, colored seat belts. You like the flat bottom steering wheel in case you decide to oh track it. Oh my gosh. It. Yes. <laughs> what size, what size of screen is this? This has got to be one of the biggest screens I've seen in a car. Macintosh. Oh yeah. This is one of the best sounding. You have a screen also. I do have a screen, and I bet you this screen is uh, done in such a way that you can't see it. No, I cannot see anything. It looks black. So I could be watching TFL videos here. You should be watching <laughs> TFL videos <laughs> while you're driving. Uh, but how do you turn this guy on? These are things we still have to explore. Well, we're just kind of jumping in at the airport here. I know, there's so much, um, there's so much here to see. You know what? Uh, we can save that for another day because I bet you we can also get this vehicle. Yeah, this is not really off-roady. It does have off-road screens, but it's not super off-roady vehicle. What happens when you hit launch off-road pages? Nothing. I think it's still oh, there loading. Goes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, rear locker, Cent rear locker. central locker. Okay. So it does have uh, certainly some Jeep underpinnings. Some Jeep DNA, yeah. a little bit of DNA. Yeah, look at that. There, there are all your seat adjustments. It's super quiet right now. It is very quiet. I, I am. Can I give you a camera? I want to put on my seatbelt yeah. so it doesn't yell at us. Look, guys, if you're interested um, in catching all of our videos from the auto show, head on over to All TFO uh, because not just um, auto show stuff, but as you know, we just took possession of a brand new Toyota Tacoma. Yep. Uh, and uh, Andre, what did you do yesterday? You want to give him a hint? I did the night gauntlet, World's Toughest Towing Test, which a lot of you have asked for, and we did it. We maxed it out, dude. Really heavy. And you compared it to what? My truck, Chevy Colorado. So. And, and then I took the uh, Tacoma into the snow. Uh, so there's a snow review coming. So go to alltfl.com, and there you can get all the Tacoma stuff, and you can also get all the latest uh, auto show stuff, because we're going to do some pretty long-form videos here. I think our plan is to... Uh, uh, actually go do a walkthrough of the show so that you guys know exactly what's here and what's new and what's hot. All right, so driving impressions, Andre. Uh, right now, uh, I'm just tootling around. Uh, by the way, where I'm going, you're from Chicago, right? I did. I grew up here. So you want to hang a left here? <laughs> you're going to be doing a lot of lefts and then just I, follow the signs for downtown. There's another competitor, X7. Not as big, of course, but similar price range or similar pr price. Oh, my, our bag just flew. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is not a place to be doing performance driving, Andre, <laughs> just, just so you know. No, I, this is a high output, dude. What, is, what, is, what does high output exactly mean so, uh, for a vehicle this heavy? <laughs> actually, it is heavy. You're absolutely right. I was looking at the spec sheet. Yeah. Um, this truck, because it has all the options, you know, the sunroofs uh -huh. and the massage, um, it weighs about 6,700 pounds which means it weighs basically about the same as a F-150 Lightning electric truck, about the same as a Cybertruck, which is which are heavy vehicles. Yeah, but you know, if you're gonna tow almost 10,000 pounds, you know what I'm saying, you gotta you, have some, some, some heft. Heft and girth. Actually, 
you know, I have a, there should be somewhere. Oh, I have a brake controller right there. Do you see Sweet. that? Look at that. Yeah. yeah. So it comes with a brake controller, which is awesome. So as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, Jeep has definitely gone toward the higher end of the luxury spectrum, right? It started with uh, the Grand Cherokee, then there's a Grand Cherokee L. Yep. Uh, then the Wagoneer, and then the Grand Wagoneer, and there are three series of those, and this is a top-line one. Yeah. Um, so I kind of feel like, um, you know, they're, they've kind of abandoned the lower end of the spectrum because the Renegade is gone. Yeah, uh, the, the, the Compass, I think, is The, the Cherokee is gone. Yeah, the Cherokee is gone. Yeah, uh, and uh, I, I kind of wonder if they haven't maybe jumped too high too fast too early. And they're also talking about an electric Wagoneer, right? Wagoneer S. S yeah, that just, so, that just came out, and that looks like kind of like a, a very futuristic, uh, almost sporty uh, crossover slash SUV. So uh, I kind of uh, hope that they actually stick to their DNA and come out with more of a basic, affordable Wrangler. Oh, yes. What do you sorry. think? Yes, affordable Wrangler. I'm sorry, but I'm exercising 510 horsepower. Well, you know, there's a recon coming, right? Which is could be that, but yeah. But I, I feel like you know, people who want Jeeps probably don't necessarily, you know, think of all this. Right? And that's why I think the word Jeep is not on this vehicle, right? Yeah. Because they're trying to differentiate it a little bit. I mean, we've been asking for. Uh, okay, let me rephrase it. I've been asking for this because I knew the GMC Yukon XL was there, the Escalade was there, the Lincoln Navigators. And so FCA and Stellantis needed something, right? And this is their answer. And I think, at least on the in interior and features, they knocked it out of the ballpark. Yeah, I mean, I, I do love the interior of this. I do love all the creature comforts. The ride uh, seems supple. Uh, it makes a visual statement, uh, to be sure. You know, when yeah. we walked up to it, I saw it immediately. Um, and uh, I just wonder if this is where, you know, the future of Jeep lies. That's my only question. Yeah, and it's humongous. Like I said, I was looking at the spec sheet. It's about one inch longer than the Suburban. Dude, what? it's bigger than the Suburban, this long version of the Grand Wagoneer. You know, we have that uh, Range Rover long wheelbase. I think this Oh, is, that's this, tiny. Yeah, I know, this is <laughs> worth it. <laughs> that's a tiny little thing. So how does it feel to drive? Dude, it's, it's really great. Yeah? Yeah. Um, we had one of our um, viewers uh, ask a question. Chicago Loop? Yep, that's it. Follow those signs. Uh, one of our viewers emailed us and said, asked that they just bought a Grand Wagoneer. Uh, they have a Airstream trailer they're trying to pull with it. And this particular owner felt like they wanted, he needed a V8, you know, because the V8 ha offers a little bit more like downhill trailering, you know, control, mm -hmm. grade shifting, and um, being able to slow down. And he felt like this didn't offer that. I cannot answer that question right now because we haven't, I haven't towed with it. You, you've you towed with it. I did tow with it, but it wasn't, you know, on the On the mountain. And it was not a mountain. So guys, this is just kind of your first intro video, not just to this vehicle, but to our coverage of the Chicago Auto Show. Uh, please, if you want to see everything that's new here and interesting, head on over to alltfl.com because Andrea and I are going to spend the next two days working very hard to make sure that you guys are in the loop. Well, we'll be in the loop. <laughs> but so you'll be in the loop yeah. on all the latest automotive news coming out of Chicago. Um, and uh, Andre. Wait, wait, let me try something. Oh, is that? Uh, well, it's not true like a Super Cruise Blue Cruise system. Yeah. It wants me to touch the steering wheel, but it does have distance control. It does have lane centering. So it has some of those features as well. well of course, it has to have those features. Well, it has to compete, right? It has to compete. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it, guys. We'll see you soon uh, back over at All TFL, where uh, we're going to have a lot more coverage and a lot more videos in the next two days. Andre, you look like uh, you look like an OG behind I, the wheel. I think I'm underdressed. I apologize. Little, you might be a little underdressed. I mean, this this is a hot... Did you tell them the price? Well, I was saving that for the end. Are we at the end? Are we at the end, or are we stuck? Uh, we're at the end. So the price is $123,000. <laughs> Yeah, that's I've, the most expensive Jeep I've ever been in. I think I am underdressed. I need to change my clothes. See you guys next time. Ciao.